So here's the Polk C4 subwoofer. Mounted in the back here of my car. It's not really mounted, it's kind of just sitting here. Just wanted to give you a size comparison here. This is a 12 inch Rockford Z series subwoofer. Just to show you the size, this box here reminds me of a about an eight inch bazooka tube that's kind of teardrop shaped. So it's a lot easier to mount than a bazooka tube. And uh, sounds better than an eight inch bazooka tube to me. As you can see, the speaker terminals, the input terminals are here on the right. And it has dual inputs. Each of the six by nine pairs are four ohms. So you have two four ohm connections. One four ohm connection, one four ohm connection. And what I've done is I've wired them in parallel to give me a two ohm load uh, bridge to my amplifier. And the way it's set up, and I'll show you a um, Polk technical sheet now, there are two six by nines here facing each other. On this side, there are two six by nines facing each other. They are two ohm six by nines and they're wired in series and they're also wired out of phase. So what that means is they do not compete against each other. They actually push and pull each other. This is a fourth order bandpass system. Okay, so I'll flip the Polk C4 over and you can see on the bottom, it's a piece of MDF and it has several screws that uh, hold the bottom plate on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it off and show you guys the interior of this subwoofer. All right, so here's the inside of the enclosure. As you can see, here's the three inch by five inch in length port. Here are two of the six by nines mounted isobarically, push pull design. This chamber is ported. Center chamber is sealed with the polyfill. And this chamber on the left is exactly the same as the one on the right. It's also ported. These are in push pull design. Again, these subs are wired so that they are out of phase. So when one subwoofer moves out, the other one moves in. So that way they're not fighting each other. And that's how isobaric design works. I'm sure most of you guys know that, but some of you may not. And just gives you a great idea here of the design. Well, there you have it, the guts of the Polk Audio C4 subwoofer. I'll just give you a quick pan real quick of the insides, and then I'm gonna put it back together and let you guys hear it, see what it sounds like. Start back over with the Rap Chill by Frank Nora. We're gonna crank it up. See how it sounds. All 
All right, here's a song I created on the iPad. We're gonna do this one next. And it is raining outside, so we're probably gonna hear some rain in my sample here. It is pretty dang impressive, I must say. All right, here's another one I created on the iPad and it's still raining outside, so you're probably gonna hear that. I was pushing the Polk Audio C4 subwoofer with approximately 300 watts of power and I must say it was very impressive. Not quite the output of my JL Audio 12 W6 V2 with 300 watts but for the size and you know for the ease of installation it's tough to beat you know this is old school stuff but uh still works really well. Well there you go folks. A quick look at an old school Polk Audio C4 subwoofer. Hope you guys enjoyed the demo. If you did, head over to oldschoolstereo.com, click on donate, send me a few bucks. It helps me pay for the website, helps me pay for some of the products that I review for you guys. Not making any money doing this, guys. I'm actually losing money every month, so every little bit will help. Go to Old School Stereo, click on donate. Any amount would be appreciated. This has been Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. We'll see you next time. I'm out of here.